game. You need to change it yes. right now. Feast or famine? Well, I feel like, you know, that it's it's funny because how and where do you fall in? Everything's great. And then the next thing you think, you look up and you've lost four in a row and you've you got a 2.7 ERA. So it was the case. And the 2-0 in for strike. It's also not him. It's just his turn falls against Alcantara or others. I was going to say, speaking of best pitchers in the game. Dixon runs batted in. He's driven in 57. A little bit high. And it's 15, so the right fielder. In trouble. Yeah, that is a tough, <laughs> tough sun field. Center fielder, your infielders to help you out, yeah, too. Yeah. How about sliding over here and helping me out a little bit? Took something off it and a strikeout of Schwarber. Looking back at him saying, what? I didn't do anything. He got flustered with that in that start against in the box, and let's go. Yeah, like it's a pitch clock. It should be a hitter's clock, too. And that was his point exactly. Head to head against Miles. And the 2 0. That's it out of play. Two balls. And the shift on the left side of the infield. The 2 1. Now 2 and 2. Home plate umpire is Jeremiah. Here's a 2 2. Full count, so back to back full counts for Michaelis. And I mean, that ball down and away is perfect, and then even the ball up. Out to deep left, and it's 1 0 Philly into Big Mac land. A long home run to Hoskins, his 18th. He's driven in 43, 1 0 Phillies. Did we say yesterday? I think this guy's about to go into Big Mac land. Yeah. And I, I feel like he's about to go off. And I was just looking up, getting better body position on each take. And swings are still there, too. And for Reese right there, for the last couple of days, and that means feeling pretty good. Just missed a couple of pitches. And, you know, he's taking good breaking ball. Game. And the next pitch swung on and missed by the 1 2. Check swing. Did not go. April 25th against the Mets. Those were scoreless starts, but did not get any runs of support. He has been getting the tough draws, so to speak. Swing and a miss. And the second strikeout for Miles Mike. Who is on the mound opposing you? You can't sit no. there and say, well, I've got to be perfect because it's sure Miles it's human nature. That, yeah, after talking to Miles and he gave up that home run, he knew just, he said to me up anymore so you just got to stay with it can't give up inside to Derek Hall nothing you know, they don't stop they don't quit they just keep making pitches and just finish this game on Friday night when Wayno went the distance outside corner and missed and it a lot of pitches in the first inning for yep. this heat good pitch good try so going to three and two again, and that's unlike him. And usually you don't see 20. And the three two. The strikeout of Derek Hall. So he strikes out three, but gives up to my teammates, especially guys like Nolan and Goldie who have been there before. It means a lot to have their support. Helsley said the best part was sharing the news with his family. He told me I took a picture of the all star invitation and sent it to my wife and parents in a group text. It was kind of emotional. And Danny, you know this, Ryan coming up. And he is headed to the All-Star game, and it is richly deserved. He's had a heck of a year. You know what? I think one of the coolest things, those are kind of individual achievements that tell you that people like the way you play the game. You know, somebody on, somebody in the league respects you and likes the way you're doing your job. Even if it's for one year, somebody is the best thing because now all of a sudden you feel like hey I belong here you know out to right yep as there the edge of the track and makes the catch I mean you can pitch all you want in the back of a bullpen the for him here's Gregorius after Rio Muto applied to right field Nolan Gorman gobbles it up and the out well the TV and saw that so uh, you know Everything. In, so it's been, mm. a, it's been a tough go around the house and around the younger crowd in St. Louis and Alec Bohm. Been a tough night. Bohm and then provided the only run on Saturday with a sack fly and an RBI.
Nicholas to Bohm, the third baseman for the Phillies. Ball back off the mask. It looks probably as long as I'm at work and safe. <laughs> <laughs> The souvenir, the 3 2. The curveball is lined into left center field over to cut it off. It'll be Carlson. Bohm thanking two. The throw, goodbye. Goodbye. And an outfield is wind up getting two. It's like a, horse, LA. like a horse race right there. Goldie just came out from behind and just came around the corner. I think that hopefully, maybe at the end of this, with all of the stuff that has to happen for guys to get there and health and all that, that he gets a chance, but at bad timing for him. You know what I mean? If he's hitting 280, I think he's an all-star. I think it's bad timing the rut that he second base That's to short. True. Well, and I think though as you're as your um as a reserve, the coach can just pick you up and throw you out there sure. wherever he wants. And you know he could play first base, you never know. But hit by Hoskins back in the first, the only run tonight. Slow breaking ball drops in for his is it just nonstop events for the players? And I'm not talking about home run derby or anything like that. Is that makes the play? It's a lot. It's a lot of everything. It's it's uh, and you know you feel like you need to be there for everything. And I think the more All Star games you go to, you kind of take a deep breath and kind of slide full of just as much stuff as you can imagine. And you have to sign all of it. There's got to be a hundred dozen baseballs in there. Yeah. But it is nonstop. I think that's why you see some of the veterans sometimes that aren't feeling good will opt out because a lot of times with the travel and then the health mode and got an all star quote unquote. So I'm just going to stay, you know, I'm going to stay back. And that is tap foul. What happened to you? Why didn't you call me and tell me? I was like, well, I, you know, I kind of respect the fact that you're playing every day. <laughs> you know, like here in the middle of the season. Slider into Big Mac land for the only run tonight. In this year's home run derby. I like it. I saw that. I think that is for sure. Albert, if you need someone to throw you BP, I'm your man. <laughs> Danny wants to go. I'm in. You just let me know. He's in there listening. Be happy to help out. The one two. Up the middle and a base hit. Hoskins two for two. Well, speaking of the, are you exhausted? I was a little exhausted, but I overswung a little bit, and I had a little twinge in my shoulder. At a point in my career, I decided one was enough. There's Castellanos and hits it out of play. It, it's been eight homers out of 15 pitches. You go there, and you're swinging four times harder. Double play ball, six for three as Goldie gets back down on the bag. 89 ground ball. Double. Don't look like they're coming out of their shoes. They are swinging so hard. And Hall with a fly ball into deep left center. Carlson over. Oh, he made the catch. Dylan. Carl Go back down. All right. Thank you, uh, Jimmy. He's just down there, then obviously hit by that pit. Down there today. He looked pretty good. I mean, he's in good spirits, ready to go. So see how fast he can get ready. JT real move. And the 2 0. Foul back. Ouch. Dang it. And if he's getting hit, he'll come back and he'll throw around the zone a little bit more. Lined over Tommy Edmond and into left field and a base hit. Real Muto. Ball was blistered into left. He was transferred to the 60 day IL. The swing and a miss. And, and by the way, speaking of which. What was I talking about yesterday about the Atlanta and the Mets? Did you see that? Blink of an eye and they are what I say end of July, maybe mid August. You'll see these three teams neck and neck and now taking a glance at hey, where are they and who are they been playing and what are they what are they doing? What are they chasing? High fly ball into right. Carlson takes charge. Calls off Yepes and gets it back quickly into the infield. Sun left there. Hitting the field, but yep, as is finding it's <laughs> right on his spot. Can they turn to Munoz? Beats it out. First at bat for Jai. Well, little injury, and I'm sure that if he was in the Cal Ripken era days, that he would probably. And then Cincinnati, the 0 1. One ball, one strike. 75 innings, innings pitched. Okay. So he was at 181. I say he's got to be the lowest by far, obviously, right? Close is Hudson. 
But then you get into Miller was at 208. Karp was near through a very, very tough time. And it's our friend Jeff Burton who works at and a buddy of mine for many, many years going through a really difficult time. There's Matt Veerling who grounded out to short and on an 0-2 pitch, a base hit out to left, went down to get it. That's a good piece of hitting right there. Can't wait to hear from the. What do you got, Cat? We throw it down. You could take the cat. You say 1 0 pitch. And it is one ball and one strike. And they're both with the Phillies. And this is one of them. Schwarber and the other, Reese Hoskins. Schwell of August. And they're going to miss Alec Bohm. Little squibber and a one hopper. Out there, the turn. It's two. A double play. It came with the shift. It's very, very uncomfortable at times for the shift is. Two balls, no strikes. The infield pitch number 79 from Michaelis. Good pitch. Two and one. That is painted on the outside corner. It's like when he throws that. And the 2 1 is pulled foul this season. And a 2 2 pitch coming up from Michaelis. Full count. 3 2. What a play here. Sosa to his left gets up and robs Reese Hoskins, the hot corner. Couple of different plays for Sosa to start. The double play. This guy can make some adjustments, especially with his mechanics in the strike zone. Well, can he keep runs off the board? That's one question. And then can you score runs for him? That's the other question. But he will make the adjustment to stay in the game. Three, four, and five. Castellanos. Uh, and the 1-1. One, one. Rounded foul. More on that in a moment. And the one two swing and a miss strikeout number five. A lot of covering first base. I got back to being myself. Dan TJ says right now he feels like he has a better play today. The idea would be to stretch him out. McFarland is back and we saw in the second strong with sinkers. If they're too strong the sinker doesn't work as well. But also if they're not strong, he knows enough to make his sinker work and that's kind of what he missed. On the ground to Paul Goldschmidt. And Derek Hall is out number two. And it brings in JT Realmuto, Dickerson, and Sosa. Off the plate for a ball. It's been a good zone, but maybe up that we want you would want. And then I think really he's only called one strike out of the zone. Which is this man here and stay, let's say, under 95. Well, that's gonna complicate it, but you know, do you stay with Michaelis, try to squeeze one more inning out of him, and then try to have Gallegos ready to D. Gregorius, 0 for 2. And he is grounded out to second and also flied out with a runner on to center, 0 for 2. On your cue, Cabrera starts to play a little catch. You just see guys with the velocity down, and you think, what happened? And never. Oh, nice hands. Nolan Gorman on a short off. It's a heck of a play right there. Wow. We. Lars Newbar takes over in right field. He'll bat second in the Cardinal lineup for Veerling. 7 8 9 for the Phillies. One ball, one strike. Came in place of Alec Bohm. That's a major concern right now for the. Not good. The 2 1. Fly ball into right field. Baseball will find you. Just coming in the game, and Newbar is there. Sorry. 